Eric Barrera. I go by the moniker Soltec Stencils and uh, I organize this event here, the little Art Wild Gap Blues, because most of the events that I do, they're always in McAllen and Harlingen really doesn't get too many uh, shows like this, so I wanted to put one together. I started in 08. My, uh, my girlfriend at the time wanted me to paint with her and she'd take me to the art walks and I really dug everything that everybody was doing so you know I, I kind of picked it up and I've been doing it ever since. My name is Gabriela Gonzalez, I'm an artist and I mostly do paintings. Um, this here is an acrylic paint. It's on a psychotic series that I have. It's about this guy that has fetish and uh, all these bugs represent kind of like that fetish. And as you can see here, there's a mix. So he has a, like a sexual fetish. This is an artist named Eli Guerra from Mexico, a rock star. And I wanted to make it more interesting. So I added like a bunch of tattoos symbolizing a lot of stuff. For example, this here symbolizes like the Mexican culture. This here symbolizes kind of like time goes by so fast. Here, eternity. This here, I don't know if you can see like the symbol for Egyptian. And peace, a lot of peace. And um, right here, I just made like a, you know, to make it more fun, just to make it unified with this. And um, this here is just means kind of like freedom. The feathers here represent freedom. Uh, my name is Mario Odines. I'm from Harlingen, Texas. I'm working right now in Roma, Texas. I'm a high school teacher and uh, this is my work. Uh, this is one of the paintings that I started about a week ago. Uh, every day has been changing a little bit and so I'm kind of like let it do its own thing. Um, I usually have like six to ten hour painting sessions working on this for the past six days and uh, like I said, uh, I enjoy painting. Um, I'm, a, I'm a ceramic uh, person. I do a lot of sculptures, but I also paint as well. I've always kind of liked art. I just never really got into it. It wasn't until I got to college that I really started focusing in, in, in the arts. So ever since I, I was done with that, I just been, art has been my life, you know, just teaching and uh, producing art. My name is Clarissa Gonzalez and I'm a journalism student at Texas State so I was born in Westlaco but I've been living in San Marcos for the past couple years and I've been doing my jewelry which is called Wear by Claire for about six or seven years. I mostly sell my things on Etsy.com which is a primarily handmade site where people from all over the world you know, post their arts and crafts and you buy and sell. I think I've got a wide variety and I've got the hang of it, so it's become a pretty successful like side business, not exactly like a day job, but I think I've done pretty well so far. I just like to make things that look unconventional, but, but still pretty. Uh, my name's Ed, I'm from Westaco. Um, all this right here, I just do out of boredom whenever I have time. It's not really like a like a day job, I guess. What inspires me is mostly just music and old style pinups and stuff, old horror movies and whatever. It's really integrated. Pretty much the same style. My name is Justin. Uh, this is all my work on this table out here. Uh, a lot of my stuff ranges between. Uh, Fantasy, comic books, uh, a lot of horror too. I'm a big fan of horror stuff, horror movies. Uh, everything you see here is usually inspired by horror movies since I was a little kid, maybe six, seven years old. 
I was raised on that stuff, so like uh, a combination of that, lots of animation, all kinds of cartoons, superhero stuff, uh, things as simple as Bugs Bunny, funny stuff. Uh, all this combined is, and comic books, crazy. Uh, it helped form the work that I come out with, and I'm currently working on my own stuff right now, uh, with a friend of mine, and we're trying to get that off the ground as soon as it's complete. And uh, any further inspirations would be, or why I even do this would be, uh, just simply because it's a good way to vent, a good way to get out of, uh, I guess, the box. The first time I picked up a marker or a crayon, I must have been three, I was drawing on the walls in cereal boxes. But uh, where I took it seriously, probably about fifth grade, that's when I discovered comics for the first time. And then I started taking it further with more detail and stuff, and started thinking about doing comics seriously when I was in high school. So it's been a good while now. But it's, it's more about just having fun doing it, and whatever good comes out of it, I'll take it somewhere with that. My name is Jacob Ortiz. I'm Alejandra Sanchez from Brownsville, Texas. And uh, we're, we're a couple of crafty people, as they say. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend, she likes to do all the uh, all the jewelry, jewelry uh, accessories. accessories and things like that. And I like uh, to do painting, uh, comic book art mostly. And uh, I've been getting into zombies because they're really popular and easy. Uh, <laughs> and so yeah, we just love, love to craft it up. Yeah, I've been doing this since, uh, I think I got into it like in high school, just as a, a hobby. I used to draw, but then I discovered um, crafting was like way more fun for me. So I just, uh, I've been doing that ever since. It's Estrella Bianca Galvan. I'm originally from Mercedes, Texas. And I like to do arts and crafts, mostly painting. I've been doing it since I was a kid, because my father's an artist. So I got a lot of my passion for art through him. And mainly I just like to do it because I want to bring something pretty to the valley. I know a lot of poor people out there that would like to have something in their house to make them feel a little better, especially when times are really bad. <laughs> and I'm actually going to be teaching uh, arts and crafts classes at the Bar Literary Center uh, for adults. And uh, it's, it's going to be volunteer work, but uh, you can go and sign up there. It starts September the 6th. I think some of the classes you have to pay and some of them are free. They have like GED classes, uh, they have cake decorating classes as well. Uh, and just it's a community like center for children to go, something for them to do, summer program. I'm Eve Bustamante. I, I specialize in photography, um, candid shots, um, outdoor shots, things like that. I started taking photos uh, about seven months ago when my sister was sick. She had cancer. She passed away in February. Uh, she was bedridden for a long time, so I would take shots throughout the day and take them back to her bed so she could look through them and have something to do, and I just kept going from there. And it's my first art walk. I'm excited. It's fun. Um, I've taken shots in Austin and in San Antonio and Corpus here. I just, whatever catches my eye, I take a photo of it. And I don't use Photoshop, I hate it. <laughs> I don't believe in it. So, whatever I get, I get. And if the photo doesn't come out right, I just don't use it.